So I'm excited to speak to you all today about online entrepreneurship, which is the future of work. It's my first time speaking to African entrepreneurs. I'm very excited. I've spoken all around the world for the last 20 years. But it's my first time speaking to all of you today. So I'm very excited to be here. Just to give you a quick background, from New York City originally, born and raised, have had my own company and multiple companies the last 20 years, written five books, and today I'm excited to really share with you how we live in this unprecedented world of prosperity. So looking forward to sharing that with you in a few minutes. Great, so excited to share with you today. Again, online entrepreneurship is the future of work. So let's start. Again, I wanna thank the Tony Melu Foundation, all the amazing staff that have helped create this opportunity. And let's just dive in into how we are living in the most unprecedented time in the world. So I've been on a world tour prior to this happening with this crisis. I was on a seven month tour all around Europe and the US and the Americas. And it all started from one connection online with someone I didn't know. I got to speak at a castle on a 1900 acre estate in Northern Ireland where this family has owned this property for 300 years. So just to let you know that this is the possibility we live in where Someone connected with me online, who I didn't know, for a paid speaking opportunity in Ireland, where I flew from Miami at the time to Ireland. But I'll share a little bit more with you about that later on. So the content is very simple. I'm going to first explain what online entrepreneurship is. We're going to talk about why online entrepreneurship is the new gold rush, the future of work. And lastly, how do you become an online entrepreneur? So let's just first define what I mean by online entrepreneurship. You have the e-commerce world and the e-learning world. So the e-commerce world, all of us, or at least in the States, we, we use Amazon and in Nigeria, other places around Africa, and perhaps as other online e-commerce. But the point is, it's a $3.0 trillion market, e-commerce, anything you buy online. But e-learning is all these different platforms, whether in the US, there's a place called lynda.com, 
where they started 20 years ago. It's an online training platform where they sold to LinkedIn for a, a billion dollars and then LinkedIn sold to Microsoft for 20 something billion dollars. But the point is e-learning space is if you have knowledge, if you have something that you have learned over time, you can teach other people how to learn online. And that alone is a $325 billion industry. So it's a massive industry that all of us can be a part of. So why is online entrepreneurship the future of work, especially during what we're going through now? Most people are home when you're home. I, of all people, should be very sad and disappointed because January, February, I traveled 40,000 miles around the world. I was in Saudi Arabia, I was in Davos, I was in London, in Miami, in Toronto, Canada, in Los Angeles, in, in Abu Dhabi. And ultimately, when March happened, everything crashed. So as a speaker, my main job is a professional speaker traveling the world, going to conferences. If I cannot travel, I cannot speak. If I can't speak, that's essentially decimated my business. But I have online training programs, so I completely just pivoted to online. I have programs online where I teach entrepreneurs all around the world. I have clients in 100 cities, 27 countries, and five continents. So therefore, for me, though I'm a speaker, and that's my main thing, about five years ago, I had a online training program created and now that really is the future of work because it doesn't matter whether I'm on a plane at a conference or not. That really is the future of work because as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection and a laptop or a phone, you can literally create a company online, e-commerce, e-learning, anywhere in the world. And that's a very inspiring thing because that really is the future of work. So the three main differences between when you're online and offline, really, there are no barriers of entry. It's free marketing and global reach. What I mean by that is if I want to, to create a restaurant in New York, which is where I'm from, there's a lot of barrier, barriers of entry. I have to figure out what the zoning laws are, I have to buy the equipment, I have to hire employees, I have to lease out a, an actual physical space, and New York City is very expensive. So there's a massive barrier of entry. Free marketing, if you're online, whether you're using Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, it's free marketing. And lastly, it's global reach. And the global reach is so massive that when you look at some of the things out, out there, I went to canva.com. Canva.com, it's a free website where they have agency quality designs, which is essentially all these advertising companies, they get hired to create these cool graphics. Well, if you go to canva.com, you can create these online graphics for free. And this is an example of how I created a online training program where I teach entrepreneurs, executives, professionals all around the world on how to become a professional speaker. So people pay you to speak around the world. This flyer was created for free on canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. I encourage you to write a lot of notes throughout my presentation, but it's free marketing because in the past, you have to hire an entire agency for that. In this case, you just create your own things online. And in terms of the global reach, LinkedIn has 610 million people around the world. Instagram has 1 billion and Facebook has 2.3 billion people. Now let's put that in context. 2.3 billion people, that's more people than China, which is the most populous country in the world. So keep in mind that we have a global reach that has been unheard of in human history. If you, for instance, look at in the US, the biggest audience in the US for a sporting event is football, or at least we call it football in America. It costs $5.2 million just for a 30 second commercial on TV in the US for the biggest event in the US, which is called the Super Bowl. For those of you who like football, at least in the US, it's in terms of the tournament. Whereas online, you have a 2.3 billion person audience on Facebook. It's zero cost at first because you can pay advertising on Facebook or other things like LinkedIn, but early on, you don't need to do that. So in the online world, you compare the cost where you don't need to pay for things in the past. I'm in my 40s now, so in the past, you have to pay for radio and TV and, and print ads and publicists, and now anyone that's online, you can just do it for free when you first start off. And the duration, it's endless. I've posted things last week, last month, last year, and it's all there, so just keep in mind that we are living in an unprecedented time. So one of my aha moments is this. I was in my Beverly Hills office, I was doing a webinar like this. This is a few years back. And we had 300 registrants, 300 people that registered for this webinar from 37 countries. 
And granted, I was just doing what I'm doing now. I'm talking to myself essentially on a laptop, but yet I had 300 people from around the world, from 37 countries. I literally counted the number of countries. And this is unheard of because I'm essentially by myself at the time in Beverly Hills in my home office, and yet I'm talking to people all around the world. So that was one of my aha moments where we were living in an unprecedented time in human history because when you look at human history, for 200,000 years, we're pretty much doing the same thing. And then 12,000 years ago, we started farming. And then a few thousand years, most of the money was in royalty. A few hundred years, you had the Carnegie's and some of the, the people that were entrepreneurs. But then a few decades, you have the Bill Gates and, and the Tony Elamelu's in, of the world. When you think about Jeff Bezos, who's the wealthiest guy in the world, he started Amazon only 1995, so 20 plus years ago. And it's created this massive opportunity for all of us to partake in. So just keep in mind that in human history, it is one of the most unique times to live, to be alive, but most importantly, be an online entrepreneur. And my specific presentation today is really about being an e-learner expert, a person that goes online and offers your expertise, your service, your, your knowledge for people all around the world. So as long as you have Wi-Fi and a computer, you can literally create a program, a training program online. And my aha moment was literally doing this on my computer a few years back in my home office where I was communicating to hundreds of people from 37 countries and they like my stuff, they can buy it at the end. So it's, it, was, it was a phenomenal, it was a, it was a big eye opener. And so for me, it started with this book where though I've been speaking for the last 20 years, five years ago, I wrote this book and it's a book about networking. Now, just as a quick backstory, I grew up in New York City. I didn't have any money, no access, no connections. My mother was a school teacher. My father was a former case manager. They both fought for the city of New York, which means they didn't make a lot of money. I was punished in class for talking too much. I had a reading disability. I was super short, so I was teased and bullied. I got fired from my first full-time job for lack of motivation, but in time, I understood and knew that if you want to succeed based on science, your network, the people you know, is the single best predictor for your career success. And so I decided to write a book to help other people understand how to network, how to connect, how to build community. How did I even get this opportunity to speak to you all in Africa? I was in Saudi Arabia last November for one of the biggest youth conferences in the world in Saudi Arabia at the Kingdom Tower. And I met Ife Yinwa, who is the CEO of your great foundation, the, the, the foundation that, that I'm being a part of right now. And I met her there at a conference in Saudi Arabia. She was coming from Nigeria. And then I met her again in Davos, Switzerland at the World Economic Forum, which is the premier, the top, the most well-known, the most prestigious networking event in the world. We have heads of states and people from all around the world. So keep that in mind that ultimately it's important to keep that in mind. So question steps, recommended presence, remote areas with limited access given that online. Okay, so again, as long as you have access, one of my programs I created was just on my phone. So as long as you have access to online, even if you have remote access, it's still about, well, if you can get on YouTube, if you can upload videos, then that alone is the, the key because the, the videos are the training, just like if you go to a school or college, then as long as you can get on YouTube or a or form of, of a video, then you have the possibility to create this program. But just letting you know, I wrote this book by networking. And from there, I met this gentleman from, from Tallinn, Estonia. Estonia, the people there actually in, in Northern Europe, they actually were one of the co-founders for Skype. But this man, Asko, reaches out to me in Beverly Hills when I'm giving a speech. This is five years ago. And he says, Christopher, I loved your book. I love your speech. Where's your program? And at the time, I didn't know what he was talking about. Like, what do you mean, Asko? I have no clue what he's talking about. He's like, well, if you wrote a book and people are very passionate, they want to learn more. Because a book, in my case, it's 100 pages. And they want to learn more about the dynamics, the strategies, and whatnot. So I said, great, I'll create this program. I researched it online. And again, all a program is, if you look at school, a school has a syllabus, a school has a textbook, a school has a professor that teaches you from a syllabus, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. Well, online, the same thing. I decided to create my first online program, which at the time was called the Premier Big Game Networking Program 
where step by step, I created a system on teaching people how to network, how to connect at the highest levels in the world. And that's the first time I created a program where I, I shot some videos that were my lessons. I created a PowerPoint, which explained the lessons, and then I recorded it, and then I sold it on my website at the time, and that was my first program. And it shocked me and amazed me when my first client, because we are in business, my first client named Pedro ended up buying my program. When he swiped the credit card or whatever form you have, he saw the value in it. So he's my first online client. And I could have never imagined because I'm from New York City. I worked at American Express, a global corporate company. And so I wasn't used to this online stuff. And here's a man who saw the value in this online program and he ended up buying it. And that was my first client online. And I was like, wow, this works. This is real. Now, whether you're selling it for $10, $100, $1,000, or even more than that, it's about you have a product, an online product, where in this case, they just sent it to him and he was very happy with it. And we're still in touch to this day. And after I created my first online program, which is about networking, how do you connect better? I created another one, which is about speaking. After I started speaking all around the world about networking, even though I've been speaking for 20 years, after writing that networking book, it shifted everyone's interest in me, where it's like, wow, this guy wrote a book about networking, about connecting. I wanna learn about how to connect better because your success in life is about who you know. And after I started speaking more, they said, wow, Christopher, I wanna learn how to network better, but I also wanna learn how to speak, travel the world, and people pay you for your expertise. So I created this other program called the GPS program, which is where I believe all of you have a story. And your story, you can turn that into a business, either as a speaker or online coach, as long as you broaden your, your, your mindset around the world. So it's phenomenal that second program, it did even better than the first program. And again, I created this online at a website called canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, a free website, which is created by a woman in Australia. And that company, by the way, is a billion dollar unicorn where she's as a graphic designer, she knew the, she saw the need. So on this canva.com website, you can literally create templates for Facebook images, LinkedIn images, Instagram images, Twitter images, all for free online. And that's what I use for this actual flyer. Because again, if you have a business, you have to promote it. You have to market it. Because business really comes down to four main things. It's about your marketing, operations, sales, and how you serve or provide a product for your customers. So in this case, this is my marketing to the global audience that I have. And then again, more of these aha moments where this is a client of mine. Now, I didn't even meet her until serendipitously, I was traveling to Barcelona a few years back. I get off the plane, I haven't been in Barcelona for over 10 years, and all of a sudden in the US, I get recognized a lot when I speak, but I was in Barcelona, first time in 10 plus years, I'm jet lagged, I'm rubbing my eyes, I'm, I could barely stand, stand up. And this woman named Elaine, she says, Christopher Kai? I'm like, hi? She's like, it's Elaine, I'm in your GPS program. I'm like, whoa, Elaine is here with her husband. I bump into my online client in person in Barcelona. What are the chances? So just like I was in my home office a few years back doing my first webinars, seeing that, wow, I can reach hundreds of people all around the world. And now I created a second online program and about seven months into this program, I started this program in October 2016, where I teach entrepreneurs like yourself how to become a paid speaker, an online coach. And then about nine months later, I see Elaine in Barcelona. I don't even know this woman, but she paid for my program online. So these are just some examples of how it's this butterfly effect. As you start giving information and charging for it because you're an entrepreneur, and people pay you for it, there's a butterfly effect. It's just like a butterfly when it flaps its wings, it creates this ripple effect of influence, of prosperity, of persuasion, and you can influence, impact, and inspire people all around the world. And there you can see, it's so crazy that I've never met this woman, but she's a client of mine. And this is possible for anyone, even if you're in a remote area, because as long as, again, you can upload images or upload videos online with YouTube, maybe it might take longer, and the bandwidth of people from around the world is gonna get better and better. But going back to this picture I talked about earlier when we first started this presentation where I could have never imagined that I would be speaking at a castle in Ireland on a 900 acre farm, having a butler and a maid and all these great things. 
where it was connected by a man I never knew who reached out to me on Facebook and said to me, Christopher, I'm interested in your GPS program. He didn't sign up at the time, but I said, Paul, if you're interested, we can work together by finding opportunities where you can hire me to speak or find clients to hire me to speak. So anytime people reach out to me, instead of saying, Christopher, I'd love to take you out for coffee, I'm like, I don't have time for coffee, okay? But this man ended up finding this opportunity where I got to speak at a castle. And so the entrepreneur that hired me, there was a team. There was a woman in Idaho, which is in Western US, and a woman in Australia. One woman in Idaho is an entrepreneur. She has five kids. Her business partner has six kids. And I only say that because there are two women who are parents who have five, six kids. So sometimes people say, well, Christopher, I'm busy. I have kids, I'm married. Well, these two women, phenomenal entrepreneurs, they decided to have a mastermind, an exclusive event in a castle. So they rent out this castle. They have about 20, 30 entrepreneurs from seven countries. They invite me, they hire me as their keynote speaker. So there I am speaking in a castle. And there on the right hand side is Paul who connected all of us from online. Again, Facebook, he reaches out to me. He's interested in my GPS program where he was, wants to be a paid speaker. At the time, he doesn't want to make an investment, but he connects me with a woman in Idaho named Shelly and her business partner in Australia who have this exclusive mastermind in Ireland. And ultimately they hired me to speak at this conference, this event in Ireland, all based on a connection online from a person I didn't know, okay? So just keep it in mind that we live in a world where we're global, where never in the history would this have happened because Facebook is free. Paul reached out to me on Facebook. I connected with him and I ended up being here in October of last year. So after you start your program, again, the most simple thing is you don't wanna assume you know what people want. And so the best thing is just to create it and see if they buy it. And if you have an experience or something, they're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna hire you. So after you create that, I showed you the actual flyer for my first networking program that I created five years ago. And I showed you another flyer for the GPS program I created three and a half years ago. And you have to iterate and approve. You always iterate and approve. So on the left-hand side, instead of being the premier big game networking program, I made it simpler. Now it's just called a smart networking system. And on the right-hand side, it's same program is called GPS but I made it more, it looked nicer. But the point is you have to iterate, you have to get better and better and better like all things. Babies first learn how to crawl before they walk. Before they walk, they crawl, they stumble, they crawl, they stumble. So all businesses, don't be discouraged. Don't be disappointed if you will fall. Expect it, you will fall, all of us fall. But you have to keep iterating and iterating and iterating and ultimately improve what you're doing to serve more people. Now. Unbelievably, in just three years, we have clients in 100 cities, 25 countries, and five continents. We just added some from France last week. We added some from Syria a few weeks ago. So that's actually 27 countries. But to be able to scale an online program in less than three years to have clients in 100 cities plus 25 countries is pretty ridiculous when you think about it. And I am what I self profess call the least tech savvy person. I'm not good at technology. I'll be very frank with you. We had some issues earlier before this, right? That's on me because I don't know what I'm doing. So ultimately, you don't have to be a tech person. I don't know technology very well. I can turn on my laptop, turn off my laptop, but beyond that, don't ask me questions about technology because I'm not going to be able to help you. But if you ask me about connecting, networking, communication, leadership, then I can help you. But this whole presentation is all about creating a vision in your mind. You have to believe it first before you do it that Imagine you can create a program online in just a few years and impact people from all around the world. It's so inspiring to know that we can all do this. And so once you create the actual program, then you train other people to do that. Here is a client and a good friend of mine. His name is Adam Torres. He's based in Los Angeles and he trains. He Now he wrote his own book. Now he has a podcast. All those things you see on behind him are, his, are the photos of the books that he's created. Now, before he met me, he never wrote any books, never had any podcasts, but you start training other people to do what you do. And that's where you start making a living and helping other people. We have clients in Australia where again, online, I posted I was gonna be in Australia and this guy, Cameron and his girlfriend, Zoe, reaches out to me on Facebook and says, hey, I'd love to show you around. They give me a tour of, of Melbourne, Australia. 
We drive down to Mornington Peninsula and they ended up buying my GPS program. So now they're part of my GPS, my speaker training for Unity Meeting. Just like Paul, who I mentioned earlier, I don't know these people. Paul is from Australia, lives in Los Angeles, reaches out to me on Facebook. In Cameron and Zoe's case, I don't know them either. I post on Facebook that I'm going to Australia. They reach out to me. It was that simple because I don't know people from Australia. So that's another client of mine that I met online. And then a few more examples. Ernest, I met from a, a referral. Shazad is in Sweden. Shazad, I also met online. She was on a chat that I was I was speaking on a few years back. She's been in the program for, for, for four years now. She made $4,000 from her first speech. $4,000 from her first speech at Ikea in Sweden, and she was 20 years old at the time. Think about that. 20 year old, what can she possibly talk about? Well, that's where I trained her, coached her, helped her to define her topic of expertise. And ultimately she was able to get paid for that. And Ernest, he's traveling all around the world. This is him in, in Warsaw, Poland. He has his own TV show. So these are just some examples where as you start training other people, they have to have results because if they don't have results, well, why should they hire you? In my case, I'm showing you the results. So you have to show, by the way, images, are absorbed 60,000 times faster. So you can tell people what you do, but when you show them, it's very different. So make sure you show examples of your results from your clients. So let's say I have a lot of personal training clients. It's easy for them to show. They show one picture where maybe they're 20 pounds heavier. They show the after picture of working with them and they're 20 pounds lighter and there's a before and after. So in my case, my before and after is, Dragon is a client of mine on the left-hand side she was so afraid to speak where we just had a Facebook Live. Again, it's free. She had over 2,000 views on her first Facebook Live because she was afraid. Now, remember, public speaking, by the way, isn't on a stage anymore. I am public speaking now to you. You're all around the world in Africa, and yet I'm speaking to you, so that's public, and therefore know that it's no longer just on a stage. Some people, it is afraid to be on a stage, but in Dragon's case, we started where she was. You start wherever you are. You just start posting more videos wherever you can, whatever platform you are, get used to it. In Dragon's case, she had over 2,000 views on her first Facebook Live. She was shocked. And then within a year, she spoke in Texas. Within two years, she was on a global stage in Europe. Within two years, she's now a transformational coach, travels all around the world, and teaches other executives how to transform their lives, both in business and in their personal life. And it all started from being part of program I created. It's such a phenomenal thing. We have Ellen who traveled to Malaysia and spoke there. She's made over a million dollars in her programs. And now again, <clears throat> just four years, we created this global community of entrepreneurs, of speakers, of coaches, focused on mastering networking, which is my first program I talked about, and then how to become a professional speaker or online coach. And it's all about making a difference. The money is great. Yes, it's fine. But really, how do you make a difference in the world? Because ultimately, that's even more inspiring because you can do both. So to recap what we've gone over today, this world we live in is unprecedented in human history. The e-learning space is a $325 billion industry. The first thing you do is define what do you know better than the someone person that's going to pay you. In, in, in um, Chris and Eric's case, they are personal trainers. They know how to keep fit. They know how to be healthy. So they know more about health and fitness than their clients. In Shazad's case, who I mentioned, the 20 year old, I helped her understand how to be a millennial expert, which essentially she teaches her clients how to market and communicate to millennials. In my case, my expertise is I understand how to connect people, how to communicate better. So I ended up creating this program to help other people how to connect and communicate better and get paid for that. So ultimately, um, the question we have is what industry specific currently exist? And, and again, <clears throat> how do you make online marketing in Africa more inclusive, bearing in mind that Africa is most comprised of base of the pyramid market? So I'm not actually familiar with what that means, base of the pyramid, but the, the point of the question is, it's all about what you know more than the person's paying you. So you have to be an expert. And by expert, I just mean that again, if I know how to sell more programs online, I can teach someone how to sell programs online. If I know how to sell more books, if I know how to sell, to, to sell more, communicate more, market more, it doesn't matter what you choose as long as you know more than the client that's gonna pay you and therefore you can be an expert online. So keep in mind that 
at, at um, keep in mind that it's really about defining what you're good at better than someone else and then creating a program for that. And we'll have Q&A in, in a short amount of time. <clears throat> We're going to end with, with one final story where you can do it. And just remember my story, OK? Born and raised in New York City, no money, no access, no connections. I was teased and bullied really short. I was punished for talking too much in class. I had a reading disability. All these things I had issues with, and we all have issues. So, but know those struggles, those obstacles, those challenges you have as a kid, as an adult, all those will help you. This is a picture of me when I was 13 years old. I don't look very happy. I was graduating from eighth grade, and I'm very sad. I'm four foot ten. I was just very short. So know that for me to be traveling the world, sharing stages with presidents and heads of states and billionaires and celebrities, it would have not imagined. Again, now it doesn't matter that I was born and raised in New York City, I'm American, but still, my parents are immigrants from Hong Kong. And wherever you are, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you have a computer or a laptop or a phone, I created my, 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 my actual second program on my phone it's possible. I record it on my phone. So just keep in mind that it's much more possible than you might think. I hope all of you stay in touch. This is my email. It's chris at christopher.com. If any of you are interested in potentially having me give a virtual keynote to your company or your business, or you want to learn more about online programs, happy to share with you more. But again, please keep in touch. That's my personal email. Love to stay in touch with you. And also, you can find me on Instagram, which some of you already have. It's just Christopher Kai Dum. <clears throat> so instead of Kingdom, Kai Dum, Christopher Kai Dum on Instagram or email me. And I'll just open up from some questions right now. So some of the questions. Okay. So speaking of online entrepreneurship, what is the best kind of business to do online? Again, you have e-commerce where you sell actual products and you have e-learning, which I'm talking about. So I'll talk more about e-learning, which is again, as long as you have a topic. It doesn't matter what topic it is. If you know how to do something better than someone else, in my case, I've taught about sales or over here, I talk about how do you connect better to find clients or in his this case, how to communicate with confidence better. How do you start an online program <clears throat> or how do you become a, a paid speaker? A so in my case, these are four specific examples, but I can have a program about college admissions where I've helped people understand how to get into Harvard, Yale or Brown. I've helped people understand how to write books. So it's just finding things that in your life that you know you can do better than someone else. Let's see. Can be relatively cheaper compared to physical. However, how much money is needed <clears throat> to start? OK, so again, I understand that online business can be relatively cheaper compared to physical, but how much money is needed? Again, you don't need money. If you're online, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, you can create a fly on that for free, which I did. You have an actual deck, which is 10 pages, which you can do for free online. You have Facebook, you have YouTube. So just using Facebook, YouTube, and Canva, you have all the resources that are free online. That's what I'm saying. It's ridiculous that we have these resources. How can I build an international recognized business? You know, here's a simple thing about international. This is what I teach my clients. My first speech internationally was in Hong Kong which is free at Rotary Club. Rotary Club is a nonprofit all around the world. As soon as I spoke there at a luncheon, I was already considered an international speaker. So if you're in Nigeria right now, if you take a bus, a train, a plane to another country in Africa or anywhere, and you speak there, even if it's free, then you're already considered an international speaker. So keep that in mind, okay? So, and then if you get featured on a publication or even, even simpler, I have these weekly group coaching calls from my GPS program. I had someone from Switzerland, I had someone from Canada, and I had someone from the US. So if you're speaking on a, on a call, on a Zoom call, on a Microsoft team call, whatever it might be, you're already an international speaker because you're speaking for people outside. So again, if you're on this platform, this great foundation, and if you have the opportunity to speak, well, you're already speaking internationally. So keep that in mind. It's more simple than you think. What are the issues to consider before starting an online the issue is this, don't wait. I meet so many people, it's so unfortunate. I posted my GPS speaker training program on September 24th on a Saturday at 7.30. Worst day, not a good time. I posted it online, I wanna just get started. It's the most important thing, you have to get started. And ultimately, I had 24 people interested and I made $4,000 from posting a photo online where I said, I'm gonna teach you how to become a paid speaker and so therefore, 
there's there's sales copy, there's marketing copy, there's a way to communicate that. But ultimately, there was some other man on that. I'm not gonna say his name, but four years later, he still hasn't started. Even though he has an interest in being a speaker, he wants to write a book. Too many people in life they wait. A day goes by, a week goes by, a month goes by, a year goes by, ten years goes by, their life goes by, and they've literally never did anything. So just start, 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 start. That's the biggest issue I see with everyone. They're afraid, who cares? We're all gonna be dead anyway. We're all gonna die. All this craziness going on now, it reminds us that we have a very short amount of time in this earth. Can having kids stop you from becoming an entrepreneur? No, as I said to you before, my client who hired me to go to Ireland, she has five kids. Her business partner has six kids. They are female entrepreneurs, mompreneurs, mompreneurs, that have a program. They both have a conference in Ireland and they have a program online. So as long as you can devote one or two hours a week, you start wherever you are. Even if it's one hour a week, don't make excuses. One hour a week they commit, even if you have kids. That's 52 hours a year. So keep in mind that it's not about where you're at, it's about having the mindset that it's possible and then just doing it. And again, there's so many free resources, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. Write that down. Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, these are all free resources. How can I monetize my articles or insight videos on Facebook and Twitter? Well, so articles, you don't necessarily monetize, but the articles help you create your brand. So from a brand, you're an expert, and as an expert, then you monetize by offering a program. And again, a program, just like in school, you have a textbook, you have a class, you have a syllabus, well, the online, instead of a textbook, you have a PDF file or a, or a PowerPoint file. And instead of the, the syllabus, you have an outline. And lastly, the, the, the videos are the actual lessons. So keep that in mind. How can I make an impact online as a farmer? Again, if you're a better farmer than someone else, then therefore you have knowledge to help other people as a farmer. It doesn't matter what you teach as long as you know more than someone else. So again, I don't know much about farming, although I went back to my ancestral village in China a few years back. I've actually been there a few times. But the point is, if you can grow more crops than someone else, then or, or better quality, or make money from that, then now you've understood how to learn something that someone else is better. So hopefully that helps. Let's see, how do I train other people to become successful entrepreneurs? Again, you have to define what you're good at. In my case, you have to keep it simple. Don't overthink things. In my case, I created a program on networking, how to connect better. I have clients that have difficulty finding clients. So I say, well, this is the event you go to. This is how you talk to them. This is how you follow up. That's about networking. How do I get this opportunity? I met Ife, Ife Yinwa, the CEO of this great foundation in Saudi Arabia. What do I do? I followed up, I followed up, I followed up. I got our information. We met again in Davos. I don't believe in coincidences, and then here I am. So that's an example. Communication. There are ways to communicate that people understand you better. There are ways to communicate, like I'm using body language, that's proven. If I smile, that's proven to feel more warmth. So it's just defining what you know more than someone else. About online business, how many ways are there to advertise products? Just focus on one way. The questions I get often asked, they think about their eighth step, their ninth step, their 15th step, their 127th step, where I'm like, focus on your first step, which is you advertise on free things now, whether again, I've never been to Africa yet. I look forward to going there one day. So Instagram, Facebook, whatever the platform is, you use because this is free. So focus on advertising on one for now. What are the major key skills required needed to be successful? So, I keep getting asked the same questions. You have to first focus on what your expertise is. In my case, networking, or how to start an online program, or how to become a paid speaker, or how to communicate better. So first you have to define what is your topic of choice to teach other people. That's super important. What makes the online approach, what makes the, on, the online approach to entrepreneurship to be more unique? Um, again, this is a free webinar. So you can also offer a free webinar. The uniqueness is for 200,000 years of history, we have never had this opportunity to communicate with anyone in the world. 
When I talked to Ebube, I said, oh, is it just going to be entrepreneurs in Nigeria? She said, no, it's going to be 54 Pan-African countries. I'm like, great. So this is very unique. I've never spoken to African entrepreneurs. I've never been to Africa. And yet here I am in the U.S. speaking to you online and we're connecting. So that's that's no more unique than that. In my local area, I'm facing difficulties with networks. Please, how can I then start? Again, we will all have difficulties. So I don't know where you are, but ultimately you find a place where there, there is a stronger connection because there is it is important to have online connection. And so I hope you know that ultimately there will be challenges. I don't know where you are. I don't know what challenges you have, but I have had challenges myself. And don't let that stop you from being an entrepreneur. How safe is online entrepreneurship? I don't know about is it in Africa, but in the US, I mean, if you have a, a PayPal account, then it's safe because you need someone to pay you online. So the point is, um, how safe is going to a store? I mean, ultimately, there's going to be risks, but the, the bottom line is people are going to pay you for your expertise. So I really appreciate all these amazing questions. How can I go about creating a website? Great question. So another free website called Wix.com, W-I-X.com. They have all these free templates and that's free, all these templates. Does online entrepreneur require 24 hour online presence? No, I'm not online for 24 hours, but my program is online, just like my YouTube videos are online, just like my Instagram posts are online, just like my Facebook posts are online. So you're not required to be online. That's why I make money on my sleep sometimes. Um, so yeah, great questions. Any more questions, let me know. Let's see, can we say that in our day today, online programs are the best way of training people to that of a classroom teaching or direct program? Again, I still do physical events, not right now because of all this going on, but in terms of best way, it's the most efficient way because there's no excuses anymore. Whether I'm in the US, you're in Nigeria, you're somewhere in Africa, it doesn't really matter where you are. As long as you have Wi-Fi and a connection, it's amazing what you can do. So. I don't know about it's the best way, but it's one of the greatest ways because I both speak in person, which I charge more for, and then I speak online where my clients, as I mentioned to you, I met this client in Barcelona. I've never met her in my life, and there we are. It's, it's crazy. So it's, 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 a, it's a very unique opportunity we, we live in now. So I'll take a few more questions. Do you have any more questions? Great questions, by the way. Let's see if I missed anyone. Any more questions, please feel free to ask. If you could say it in one sentence, how can I build a successful online e-commerce? The one question, the, 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 the one sentence is, model those that are doing what you wanna do. Jeff Bezos started off Amazon I'm gonna sell books. If that book is at a bookstore for $10 and I sell it for $5, then there you have a product that he sold online. And so you model what other people are doing, what you wanna do. Don't overthink things. Okay, so we can close after, okay, awesome. So hopefully that was enjoyable to you. Hopefully you learned a lot. Hopefully you're gonna apply this because literally the single most important issue I see in everyone that doesn't do this is they don't start. There is no excuses. I don't care if you're a farmer. I don't care if you are in an office. I don't care where you are. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, even if it's slow in time, you'll get there. It's only gonna get better in time. So thank you so much for your time. Please stay in touch if you want. Instagram, Christopher Kaidum instead of Kingdom Kaidum. Facebook, LinkedIn, it's just Christopher Kai. Email me if, if you'd like. And just know that it's possible. If you want to learn more about my programs, let me know as well. If you want to invite me to speak at your company, let me know. But thank you so much for this time. I want to, again, thank the foundation for creating this phenomenal opportunity. I appreciate you all, and thank you so much.